All right, starting to work on part three of uh, electrical diagnosis on the 74 Valiant. Since the battery is the uh, main source of power for the entire car, obviously the alternator is involved too, but the battery is the central point. Um, I'm going to recharge this because it has lost some as a result of uh, all the business. Um, but when diagnosing electrical power, I start at the battery and work uh, back. There's no point in... Uh, I will look under the dash to make sure there's no obviously burnt wires and that sort of thing, but when diagnosing an entire electrical system, you have to start at the battery and work your way back. Um, so I'm going to take this out for now. These are almost always half inch. Tie down. All right. Here's another uh, Dodge Chrysler issue, and it's going to be one of the first places that we look at wires burning out. There's three large connectors here, lots of, uh, like there's four and eight on each one, and that's for going through the firewall. This is a notorious place where stuff uh, gets burned. Sometimes you'll see these plastic pieces all melted. I don't see any right now. But essentially all the electronics go in and out of here. Um, I did have to, uh, on the 64 Chrysler that I already fixed this problem with, I did have to find a unused one, drill through there, in order so that it could go right through to the car and uh, start running my own replacement wires through there. See this one's marked fusible link. So I'll definitely be checking that. It's a kind of a weird one. This one actually has a, uh, a fuse right inside this uh, plastic container here. Usually that's a uh, embedded um, like a piece of wire that is designed to burn uh, at a certain um, temperature. So that's interesting. Anyway, yeah, this is the bane of uh, Chrysler owners everywhere. It works okay when it's working, but uh, these, these connections get cruddy and then uh, you're fucked. So anyway, we'll be taking those off. We'll have a look at that. There we go. So you can see it's got these spade connectors in there. I did find some of those and I think I've still got some replacement ones, but I don't really like that style. There's a spare one in there, which I like because I can always drill through that and uh, put a nice fat wire through there. Um, I'll probably, once I clean these up, pack it full of uh, dielectric grease so that no water can get in there. Infiltration of stuff in there is sometimes what causes these things to go south. Yeah, you can see the way this one's fallen back a little bit. Yeah, look at that shittiness here. I mean, I'm going to replace this. That's one of the main hot wires, and it actually is feeling pretty shitty. That's the one with the fusible link. So that's garbage right there. That's part of what we're fixing. It's too flexible. I think it's broken inside. And I mean, that's the main... Without that, you got squat. So that's good to find there. It's not burnt right out, but by the flimsiness, I can tell that I don't think all the wires are in there. Yeah, I don't know. Wiring harnesses all have their kind of issues, but... 
always found these connectors to be kind of a pain. Luckily the service manual is fully complete about what, what wire goes where, what the uh, resistance of it should be, and if you've got to hook up to a battery what the voltage should be. So that's good, that's going to help. Mostly for accessories and stuff. Low voltage crap, so I'm not that worried about that one. It really is going to be this middle one here that we... Uh, it's going to be this right here that we... are going to focus on. Just look at that. Like, It doesn't even feel like it's connected behind there. Look at that. That's a major source of our issue. Good. That's not going to be the end of it. Because that's not where I was seeing smoke. However, that needs to be fixed. That was going to break anyway. Alright, just after uh, doing that last piece there. Uh, rather than these videos getting stupid long. Um, I'll do them in little sections. Um, but anyway, here, yeah, this, remember I was saying that it felt broken down here? Well, it is. And also, after I took off this uh, interconnect here, look, it's just fucked. It's, it is burnt. There's still some wire in there, but this is completely foobar. So, fusible link failure, it's kind of what it's supposed to do <laughs> anyway. You can see the, you can see the sign there, yeah. I mean, that's, it is a protection mechanism anyway. I thought there was a uh, glass fuse in there, but really not. It's just an interconnect between the wiring harness thing. I probably will eliminate that as well. What's the point? Um, I guess the point was because this is a replaceable part, but... Anyway, very definitive. Very failed. I like to find the source of things, and that's totally it. I can't really get this out of here, but I would say it's also busted down here, where I was noticing that it was all wiggly. Sort of like that, where, you know, half the wires are burnt out and missing. So, it did do its job. I can't uh, fault it for that, but that's, uh, that's the smoking gun, yo. Or one of them. We may find another one in the uh, steering column. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, that, that'll be the end of this uh, particular little section, but uh, I'll be back. I'm going to continue to work on it, and uh, I'll make other parts. All right. Talk soon. Bye.